Alright, what's up everybody? We are on episode 11 of Firin Beyond Journey's End, which is called Winter in the Northern Lands. I can only imagine that things are going to be quieting down a little bit from here on again, because we just came off of an absolutely insane couple of action-packed episodes. And um, I was just thinking about it actually, but last episode really, it didn't just feel like the ending of an arc to me. It felt like the story so far really coming full circle with us actually getting to learn how Firin met uh, Flam the Mage, of course, right? But also how she came in contact with her original crew, you know, Hyther, Aysen, um, Himmel, of course. And so, yeah, that was awesome to see. I mean, I noticed a couple of details as well while re-watching the episode that I think had slipped my, uh, well, slipped my mind. I mean, I'm not sure how to word it, but uh, I hadn't caught them in the moment, necessarily. Like, for example, we find, of course, Firin in this completely destroyed village where apparently other elves used to live, right? And they all got uh, uh, killed there in a, in a demon attack that Firin managed to ultimately, well, stop. But she was the only one, I guess, left, right, in that moment. And this is where Firin, or sorry, where uh, Flam, of course, finds her. And at first, Flam actually kind of plays it off. And that's what I, what I hadn't realized. Like, she tried to pretend like she wasn't even, I, I think, a mage. Because she literally said to Firin in that moment, like, oh, I can't believe you mages. Why couldn't you just run, hide, or, you know, do some other, uh, uh, well, surprise your enemies in a different way rather than just outright attacking them the way Firin did. And we also see this great shot of the two characters with that mana cloud that's surrounding them, right? And you can clearly tell there that Flam's mana cloud, or whatever I should call it, is is much smaller than what we see around Firin in that moment. And so Flam is just actually trying to, yeah, like I said, play it off. But Firin detects that she's a much more powerful mage because she says it there. Like, oh, why would you say that? You're a much more powerful mage than I am. And this is what actually catches Flam by surprise, right? She goes like, how do you know? <laughs> and Firin says like, oh, how do you feel, right? Firin says, well, it's just a feeling. <laughs> and I wonder what it is that made Firin able to detect that Flam was this much more powerful mage. I guess it's just like intuition because she herself uses magic or something, right? But um, I mean, that's basically what the entire episode was, of course, about, right? It's like Flam teaching Firin this mana suppression. And um, I guess it's like it is known that mages do this kind of stuff, but usually demons can see around it. Because, like, humans, or sorry, mages will just do it for a limited time, I guess, right? But what 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 separated Firin and Flam so much from everybody else is the fact that they've been suppressing themselves for their entire lifetimes, basically. And it's all that they've been doing the entire time, right? And so that's why Aura was not able to see it. And when she therefore used her ultimate move, where she puts both of their souls or whatever on the, on the scales, right? Uh... Yeah, like, she, she she figured beforehand she was always able to tell if people were suppressing their mana. And with Firin, she genuinely couldn't. Until she's caught by surprise there in a the moment. And literally is forced to kill herself. Amazing scene, by the way, as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been, like, again, everything has been so good, right? I, I, I've loved how we've tied, like I said, all this stuff back together. How we're now learning a little bit more about the relationship that Firin had with Flam. Then again, there's, a, there's of course, still a lot of questions there nonetheless like what actually who lived in that village with Firin there was this where she lived with her parents I can only assume so I can only assume that she was actually raised here because otherwise she wouldn't have gone along with Flam in that moment kind of like uh, allowing Flam to take her in as an apprentice or whatever right um this was not just some regular village of elves that she came to protect this must have been the place yeah where she used to be uh, used to be living herself and so she had nothing left after that moment but what exactly happened with her parents then or well I mean they got killed if that's the case right but like what was a relationship like with her parents and stuff I don't know if we're if we're still going to learn anything about it um even like what elves do what else does uh Firin still know actually this reminds me that I think Firin said that she hadn't met another elf for, for 400 years or something right and I wonder now, I don't think we quite got the information in the episode, but I could be wrong about it. When did that scene actually took place? Was this 400 years ago? Was this the last time that she actually saw an elf there for? While knowing that there should still be others out there? Or has she met others still in the meantime? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I could do the math now on the spot, but it's probably best that I don't do that. <laughs> honestly, no, I don't think you can do the, uh, do the math because none of this is going to add up to her then meeting, of course, the original crew. That will have happened many, many years later. Uh, because that's still a relatively short time ago, like 70 plus years or something, right? Um, um, well, that's 70 plus years ago, I think, is when... Am I saying this right? <laughs> oh my god, this is getting confusing. No, wait, no, 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 yeah, no. 76 years ago, I think, was when they went on the journey, right? 26 years ago or something is when Himmel died, and 6 years ago is when Haita died, I think, right? That's That's basically the timeline right now, but... Uh, yeah, guys, this thing really can get a little bit confusing, of course. <laughs> I'm sure you'll forgive me for it, but I always want to make sure I get everything right. And I probably still didn't get everything right, but whatever. We're going to see where um, where we go from here. Of course, Stark is kind of the big question mark right now. It's like last time we've seen him was actually two episodes back when things weren't really looking too great for him. Of course, he defeated the demon that he was facing, but also allowed himself basically to be sacrificed for that. Right? And so, how is he going to be doing? I mean, I don't honestly expect him to have died. But uh, it is a possibility, I will say. And uh, yeah, we're going to see, like I said, where it all goes. For now, guys, if you enjoy my reactions to Fear and Beyond Journeys, and you'll be able to get early access to the next 12 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. Over there, we will already be on episode 13. Oh, sorry, 13? 23, that's what it is. Man, my, my math is fucking all over the place today. Anyway... Full-length reactions will be up there too, and you can sign up as a free member if you want to, um, well, watch the next two episodes already right now. So go ahead and do that. But for now, let's dive into this new episode. Hmm. I guess the sun has come up already. Oh, this is Fern walking across the land, seeing what Freeran did. Oh shit! Stark's right there. The fuck? We didn't even see what happened with his injury, did we? Yeah, that's what she talked about. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> I don't think Stark quite has the exact same morals as somebody like him or with. <laughs> Stark's feeling himself, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what we do. Man is sounding like him all right now. Yeah, it's kind of nice that they get to bury their own people. This guy. お前が望んだのは防護結界について記されたグラナト家に代々伝わる大魔法使い風。うん。本当にこんな魔導書でいい。オッケー。At <笑> <laughs> she wasn't even planning on using it, probably. Wow. Well, there's exceptions for some, I guess, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, I think we saw that actually for a brief moment. 
yeah, 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 we did see this. <laughs> Man went through that experience himself. <laughs> Who the fuck, oh god, the executioner came in. <laughs> Man was just chopping some trees. ため口程度でどうに放り込むような方はこの町にはない。近接楽にしてくれ。そういうこともら。良かったですね。スタレクさん。うん。いや、いや、that's <laughs> 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 Oh god, another ceremony, huh? Like we haven't had way too many already. <laughs> Yo, you want to be careful because that man might have shit himself. It's about to seep out. Hmm. Helping them rebuild a little bit, I guess. Yeah, that healing is going to be uh, needed. I love this montage. Just the still shots. <laughs> he, saw, he saw the same guy again. <laughs> Come on, dude. New clothes. Wow. That's awesome, dude. All the swords there as graves, I guess, huh? How uh, far away is that still from here? Yeah, as expected. <laughs> I was gonna say. If anyone should be uh, classified as first class. Oh my god, yo, we do not need an official certification, do we? You are kidding me. どうせこの正常の証しももう使えないんでしょ。Holy emblem. Yeah, that's nothing to her, man. Yeah, why does the government always need to get involved? Jesus Christ, just let her fucking go. I can't believe we're forced to do this. Oh man, I, f I feel so frustrated. <laughs> I'm guessing we'll pass by there anyway, right? When we get there, like, we'll, we'll just come across it. And Firin will do like a quick test. Three questions that she'll answer correctly in some practical exam. <laughs> it's just gonna blow everyone away in. Hmm. I think we're gonna need some uh, fire magic. Huh. Wow, the weather conditions were the most dangerous of all. Damn. Yo, Stark is fainting again. That's all he does. If you fall asleep, you'll die. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Man is having a flashback. Yeah, 
So he's gonna need to walk himself. Or be carried. Man. She's just like, that's insane. <laughs> Oh, wow. A little place to take shelter, yeah. Oh, shit, somebody's here. I mean, who else would know about it? Like, well, that, that, okay. Who the fuck are you? Another elf! Yo, he's got pointy ears! This dude is crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> Doesn't give a shit either. Nah. <laughs> yeah, what do you what do you think? That's the first thing I noticed. How did Fur not? Okay. Wow. ジョちゃんも日を<笑><笑> Yeah, it seems so weird that it would be located literally close by to the demon castle, though. Which, when you looked at that environment there... Oh god, what is happening to Stark? Getting colder? Yo, man is zoning out, dude. All that he can think about is the Jumbo Berry specials <laughs> with Ison <Eisen> right behind him. <laughs> Oh shit, but he is go he yo, he's going to Oriole right now. He is off to heaven. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna wake up and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is hell right now. <laughs> nah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the scream. <laughs> oh, dude. That's awesome. Oh, he's anti, alright. Okay. Stark, you'd be very careful with these compliments, man, because I would not trust uh, this guy to I was gonna say though, but that environment around the demon castle looked nothing like Oriole. Frozen supplies. Jesus, look at this man. Should we? I mean, maybe he does not know about that. Oh. Oh. Which tribe were you from and stuff, right? Yeah. These are the real questions that I'm trying to get answered now. I don't know if she'll gladly talk about that, though. Wow. That's a big ass tree to chop down. Damn. That's what I mean, man. Sometimes we just get the time skips. 
Just like that. I think that 10 year journey just got a little bit longer though. So they do have a, a goddess, the age of mythology, the goddess of creation hasn't shown herself once in a long history of this world. ここの底から女神様を信じている。俺の成してきた異業も正義も知っている奴は皆死に耐えた。だから俺は死んだら天国で女神様に褒めてもらうんだ。よく頑張った。クラフト。お前の人生は素晴らしいものだった。てな。yeah, you better hope she's real. She's the only one that could remember, I guess. That's what they always say. Plus, the bad people need to be punished, right? That's what they'd say as well. Wow. Oh. <笑>正直ですね。<laughs> I don't think your life has been so pure and proper though, uh, priest. I'm not gonna lie. Exactly. <laughs> I love how she always calls him out over it. Minoeo <laughs> かわりに私が褒めますよ。だらだらと生きてきただけだよ。褒められるようなことなんて何もない。常に魔力を制限しているのに。常に魔力を制限しているのに。常に魔力を制限しているのに。常に魔力を制限しているのに。常に魔力を